They were gonna make Italian broccoli or broccoli with garlic and oil. This one always kind of competes with green beans and with garlic and oil, which string beans, garlic and oil, which one I'm go going to do. Those are pretty much my two favorite, escarole, broccoli rabe, or kind of like right behind it. You know, add this one to your Italian side dish repertoire. Let me show you all the ingredients and how to make it right now. The ingredients are really simple and basic in this one, but don't let that deter you and make you think that it's not a great dish. So we're gonna start with broccoli. And I have three heads right here. These were cut like this in the store, so they're, you don't have that long stem. Garlic. We have olive oil and extra virgin olive oil. I use the extra virgin to finish. Crushed red pepper and salt. For the broccoli, sometimes it'll have a lot of leaves on it. You can just prep it all by removing them, putting them off to the side. And I'm just kind of tearing the florets off. You know, I'm just breaking them off. And that little end I'm gonna cut off. You can save that, you know, use it for another thing. But I want all of my pieces here to be roughly the same size. So they all cook at roughly the same, you know, to the same exact uh, doneness. So three heads right there and, and we have a bunch of florets. Put those florets off to the side and work your garlic. Now, you can use a ton of garlic for this. You can use just a little bit. Take the back of your knife, flat on the garlic, and you just tap it, and you'll be able to remove the skin of the garlic clove very easily. Make sure you wipe all the, the skin off of your board before you slice it. And I just did a little bit of a slice. So medium high heat, and we'll put in about four ounces of water. And you can let that water kind of come close to a boil. Get the broccoli in, pack it in there, or use a really big pan, and cover it. About three, four minutes, maybe five, just until it gets bright green, which means it's kind of done. Like you can eat it like this, like that would be fine. I mean, you can eat broccoli raw. And then put that off to the side and drain it. Wipe that pan down and then turn your heat to medium low. I'm gonna coat the bottom of the pan with a lot of olive oil, probably about a quarter cup, and get all that garlic in. And just mix it around, about two minutes it'll take, three minutes to turn lightly golden. Keep your heat you know, to the low side, you don't wanna burn it at all, but you do wanna get some color out of it, like that. Hot red pepper, which is optional here for this recipe. I used about a half a teaspoon. I, I love it in it. I let that cook for a few seconds and then get the broccoli in. Now, ideally you wanna have a bigger pan than I'm using here. And you can just coat it or you know just give it a toss to get that garlic and oil to, to coat the broccoli. I'm putting a little bit more olive oil in here and have quite enough. For these recipes, just you, you know, wor work it to, if it doesn't seem right, and you think you need more oil, just add a little bit more oil. I'm gonna put in about half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm using three heads of broccoli here, so this is gonna be dictated by how much broccoli you use. I'm putting a little bit of water in here too to help it cook. And this water is gonna evaporate, but it's gonna prevent it from burning. If you like burnt, burnt broccoli, don't use the water, but still be careful when you're cooking it. So, you know, I just grabbed one, touching it with my hands, tasted it, see if I have the right consistency, and it needed a little bit more salt. So turn, I waved my hand, turn that heat off. With the heat off, put the really good extra virgin on top. That's Italian broccoli. I like it a little bit on the softer side, not super soft. Uh, I don't like it burnt, but do it whichever way you want. This is a good dish to use for anything. It's just like my string beans with garlic and oil or escarole white beans. These are all great sides. I hope you watch those other side dishes that I have. Watch all my videos that I have. That helps me out a heck of a lot more than if you just hit that subscribe button and never watch a video again. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.